Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to a brand new WWE Supercard video episode 53 with me, Cool Guy, and you, the awesome viewers. I was literally about to start this episode. I was like, alright, let me quickly get, let me get a quick game of Wild done and then we'll start the episode and look who popped up on my screen to play against. So this episode is going to be titled Cool Guy vs. Super Zomega Barbecue and we're going to see who gets to the, who gets the win. So... Yeah, sorry if it's a little bit clickbait title. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm agreeing with that straight away, but you know, it's, it's going to be a cool title. Anyway, I'm going to play him. Um, I've got a little bit of a um, a different deck, so I'm going to see if I can beat him. I don't know the cards he's got, but I'm assuming he's got like he's got all the event cards probably. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do. We're going to use my bot back then because that's going to be an advantage that I have, I think. And I'm going to go and use Stone Cold in my first power game. Oh my god, don't prop Goldberg. Yes, 1-0, come on. Come on, get that win. Okay, good. Um, and it's a female tag. Oh, he's got Nia Jax pro as well. Um, Alright. Oh, he's got the exact... Yes, <laughs> he hasn't got Nia Jax fully leveled up yet. And that is a win for me. And there we go. I've just beaten one of the best supercar players out there. <laughs> awesome. Um... And then the third game is going to be a Charisma game, which we're going to get the W as well. A clean sweep on him. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. What an, what an, what an awesome start to the episode. There you guys see. I changed my profile picture, by the way, as well, to that Bray Wyatt card. Because I just wanted to change things up a little bit. And, uh, and awesome. There we go. We get the W. That is definitely him. Before uh, starting this and, and you know making a fool out of myself. I went, I went to see if that is really the exact name that he used. It is. And there we go. Yeah, we got the 3-0 win. Sweet. Um, if by any chance you're watching this video, man, um, yeah, you can have a rematch one day if you want. <laughs> um, anyway, so I've just started a King of the Ring. It hasn't, we're just waiting on the players right now. I was, uh, I, I've been a bit naughty and I, I sam, I'm sandbagging my Neville. Um, now that I see that picture of... Uh, of what's his name on the thing? Let me let me get this Bray Wyatt down because it, it, this looks a bit. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. Uh, I think Bray Wyatt might be like the black horse of the um, of the Royal Rumble. I think he's got a shot of winning it. To be fair, maybe that maybe he's gonna get his push that he finally deserves, like a really big push that he finally deserves. But yeah, I wouldn't be upset if I see if if, if we see Bray Wyatt win. Um, so yeah, this is episode 53, sorry if I mentioned if it was, if I said 52, I might have, I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, this, um, this video will be up tonight, right now I'm going to be uploading my Royal Rumble 2017 predictions, so if you guys haven't checked that out yet, make sure you guys go check that video out, and tell me if you guys agree with all that or not. Now, let's play a little bit of wild mode, and I'm going to explain to you guys why I'm playing a lot of wild mode, and that is because of my ladder reward coming up in less than 100 games. Um, which I'll be showing you guys probably in tomorrow's video. Uh, because, yeah, we're not... But this video needs to get uploaded, of course. And if I just play all the games now, then I might, I might. This, you guys might see a second part of this episode with me um, getting that so la the diva, well, female, uh, ultimate ladder reward. So, yeah, who knows. But what I'm going to do today is just going to play a little bit of wild mode for you guys. Talk about the uh, episode of SmackDown. So... Smackdown was um, last night, which I watched, and uh, I'm actually going to admit this for the first time in a long time. I think I preferred Raw. Um, I, I actually genuinely think I preferred Raw. Lots of up, lots of great points in, on Smackdown, but overall, if you really compare, this is the Go Ho Show. This before the Royal Rumble, right? And and Royal Rumble, uh, sorry, Raw really got up there and really made us want to see the Royal, and the Royal Rumble. But Smackdown was, uh, it didn't seem. It seemed a little bit. A little bit flat. So, Randy Orton versus Luke Harper. Randy Orton got the W there with an RKO. Uh, looked a little bit more like a stunner. Um, but it was an RKO, I, I, I assume. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, Randy Orton got the win. Uh, Bray Wyatt, Sister Abigail, uh, Luke Harper at the end of the match. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure if Luke Harper is going to... Maybe maybe there's going to be an angle where Luke Harper like tries to get revenge on Bray Wyatt and Randy in the Rumble. If he's still part of the Wyatt family or not. I don't know, we're going to have to see how that uh, develops over the Rumble um, and over the next week's Smackdown. Mickey James and the Becky Lynch and the promo and, and Alexa Bliss then coming out and then attacking uh, Alexa, Bli um, Alexa Bliss coming out and then attacking Alexa Bliss. Great banter. Um, no, Alexa Bliss, um, kind of like, yeah, like a little bit of a plan between Mickey James and Alexa Bliss to kind of bait. Um, 
uh, uh, Sasha, uh, Becky Lynch, um, and that worked. And yeah, they 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 put the beat down on Becky Lynch. All of that is good. Mickey James as a heel was all right. You know, I like I like, I like Mickey James. I always I've, Mickey James one of my favorite uh, divas of all time. And uh, yeah, I like seeing her in the WWE again. Then we had a really really weird kind of promo. Um, not promo, sorry, segment with uh, James Ellsworth and Carmella. Some bits were funny, like the Godfather, that part was funny. Uh, and yeah, just overall, not amazing. Then we had that really, really terrible over the top battle royal with uh, what's his name? Hype Man, whatever, I don't even know his name. Um, I, don't, I literally don't even remember his name right now. That is crazy. Uh, Mojo Raleigh, can't believe I had a blank there. He won. I really don't care. Um, uh, Dolph versus Kalisto was all right. I mean, Dolph Ziggler won that very quickly. I'm not going to comment. You know, there's not much to say about all of this. Um, and then I, the John Cena AJ Styles uh, confrontation. John Cena, the, John Cena's program was really good, actually. Like really, really good. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought, I thought he really, um, yeah. I thought he, yeah. I thought, thought his, um, his, yeah. I thought he like he kind of roasted AJ Styles there for a bit and. It was decent. AJ Styles got a couple insults from John. Overall, a really good segment. They're really building their feud up um, for the hopefully really good payoff at the Royal Rumble. And then the Lumberjack match, which was just a good match. It was, it was a good match. Um, but yeah, overall, Ambrose retained. I wanted, I wanted to see Miz win that, uh, but it is what it is. And and yeah, overall, just not an amazing episode of SmackDown though. It was good. It was solid wrestling. Good episode, but just. Actually, well, when I say good wrestling, there was what a battle royal, a two-minute match, and then and then the the lumberjack match. So I think it, it did fall a little bit flat this episode of SmackDown. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys agree with me, or if you guys don't agree with me, and yeah, we're gonna finish this game up, get our picks, and then I will sign off, and I'll see you guys later on on the same video probably then for my ultimate. No, I probably will do it next video actually. Yeah, I'm gonna do it next video. Yeah, I will do it next video. Because I don't want this video to go up too late, so I've made my mind up. I'll do it. I'll do it in the next video. Um, let's go and do that. Give me a good pull hit. Sweet, Sin Cara. <laughs> All right. So let me quickly have a check for you guys how many more games you've got. I don't think it's too many at all. Uh, yeah. Okay. So as I, I was right, it is less than 194 more games. We will get that done. And uh, yeah, ring domination is what I need to talk about real quick. So we have got ourselves the, um, I was going to say McFoley, but it's not, it's Mankind. Which I saw someone on Twitter reply to Supercard when they said this is the next uh, event card. And I saw that someone said, yo, they're making their packs um, pointless. Like, because who's going to go and open uh, throwback packs now when there's a Mankind that is better than the Mankind in the throwback packs? Also, I'm getting, you know, it's getting to a point where Undertaker and Stone Cold are the only ones left. And it's it's like, okay, it's kind of making those packs a little bit less, um, you know, people are going to buy them less. Especially, you know, with the Lita as well. Now there's Alexa Bliss, there's Charlotte, there's um, there's that Nia Jax that they, gave, that they gave out in the team ring domination. So it's, it's a bit confusing why they did that, but they did. And I know a lot of people are going to be happy with that. Um, one person in particular, which is Fuji. <laughs> yeah, I know how much he loves his mankind. Um, and then the uh, the two undercards are Raw and Raw. So, and then the hardened is Raw, which I'm thinking is a little bit. I don't know why. Why? Why is it all Raw cards? What the hell happened to SmackDown um, or oh, NXT? Why is it just all Raw all the time? I mean, even in the Team Ring Domination, we had Nia Jax, we had Brock Lesnar. That's two Raw cards. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing, but I know there are more Raw superstars than SmackDown superstars, and that's why they have to do it. I just think they should always get in a... Uh, a even if the hardened is a SmackDown card, then just so be it. Make Just get a, a SmackDown card in there somewhere. But apart from that, I have no idea who it is. I'm hoping for, like, a Sami Zayn, a Braun Strowman, uh, a TJ Perkins, a... Off the top of my head, I'm a Roman Reigns, a Enzo Amore... Um, is it? And then TJ Perkins, that's what I said. And yeah, that's it. So yeah, a couple people it could be. And then Elite cards, I got quite, quite a couple Raw cards. Seth Rollins, Rusev, Big E, Summer Rae, I suppose it could be. It's not going to be a Brock Lesnar again. Uh, Roman Reigns, uh, Sami Zayn, and Sheamus. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is the episode done. It's a really short episode, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. Smash a like on this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another WWE Supercard video. So then, peace out, and take care.